Hey Curious! If you followed Dawson's Creek since its release, you might be surprised to learn that it's been over 28 years since its debut. A series that was part of the life of many Earthlings, we've seen that even today we refer to good memories of the past. But Dawson, I want us to still be friends and I want to know that you don't hate me. Just I... words, Joey. Just words. Dawson's Creek is a show that talked about what it's like to grow up and mature in life, and we pretend not to notice adults in their late 20s pretending to be 15. But so long after the series ended, how are these actors doing? What have they done? That and a little more is what we're going to discover now. So get your little boat ready and let's try to save Earth before it's too late. Starting with Joshua Jackson, who played the sarcastic black sheep of the Pacey Wither family. After Dawson's Creek, Joshua had another very important role in his career, which was as Peter Bishop, the protagonist of the Fringe series. One of his most recent roles is as Dr. Christopher Dunge in the series Dr. Death. Michelle Williams played New Yorker Jen Lindley. Michelle landed some high-profile roles of the series, winning two Golden Globes and receiving four Oscar nominations for Brokeback Mountain, Blue Valentine, My Week with Madeline, and Manchester by the Sea. One of her most recent roles is as Anne Wayne in Venom. Mary Beth Peel began her career as an opera singer, and Natalie Ryan was one of her first major screen roles. Now over 80 years old, Mary Beth follows a busy acting career, both on screen and on stage. One of her most recent work was on the House on TV miniseries as Martha Graham. The calm and introverted Jack McPhee was played by Kurt Smith. In addition to acting, Kurt is also a certified pilot and is often seen biking and hiking his Instagram account. After Dawson's Creek, he had some outstanding roles in films like Final Destination and Where the Hope Grows. His most recent role is as Jacob Yorg in the Resident series. James Van Der Beek played the dreamer Dawson Leary. After the series, the actor had brief appearances in several famous series such as Modern Family and How I Met Your Mother. Even being a Power Ranger in a short film, he wrote and acted in telling a dark story of the Rangers. His most recent work was as the voice actor for the character Boris in Vampirina. Mary Margaret Humes, who once was Miss Florida USA, played Mon Gayle Leary. With the series ending, the actress guest starred in many shows like Grey's Anatomy, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, and Criminal Minds. Her most recent work was in the film Two Tickets to Paradise, where she played the character Alice. John Wesley played Mitch Leary. John had previously played DC Comics character Barry Allen on CBS superhero series The Flash in the 90s, and has returned to play the characters from that universe in recent years in the series Arrow, Stargirl, and The Flash. Another recent work by the actor was in the series A Ruby Harry Mystery as John Harry. Meredith Morrow played the smart Andy McPhee on the series. The actress continues to do several works on TV, having gone through series such as Bones, Criminal Minds and Castle. Her most recent work was on the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why, where she plays the hard work nurse Carolyn Stendhal. Audrey Dale was played by actress Busy Phillips, and I always thought she was the singer Pink. After the series, the actress had memorable appearances in series like Kruger Town and many other films like The Gift and I Feel Pretty. Her most recent works are as the voice of Foofy Dog in DC League of Super Pets and Summer Dukowski in Girls 5 Ever. Dill Neal played Doug Wither on Dawson's Creek and also Dr. Anthony Evil on the Arrow series. Neal also has appearances on CSI Miami and on Smallville as Ray Sex. The actor has a woodworking workshop where for years he has recreated furniture from the 80th and 90th centuries. The now very famous Katie Holmes portrayed Joey Potter in Dawson's Creek. During the first year of the series, the actress also participated in the movie Disturbing Behavior, where she won the award for Best New Female Performance at the MTV Movie Awards. Her most recent works on the drama Alone Together. Finally, Susanna Drobniak, known by her stage name as Sasha Alexander, who played Gretchen Winner in Dawson's Creek and acted in films such as Yes Man, He Just Not That Into You, and in the first two seasons of NCIS as Caitlin Todd. Sasha has also written a variety of productions, including the movie Lucky 13.
In its sixth season, the series addressed very important issues, and another very important thing that we need to address is the like that you can give this video and help this message to reach further. Maybe the aliens will remake the series on another planet. Well, and once again, it's time to say goodbye before the dancing ninjas and shorts find me here. See you in the next video. Over and out.